good morning folks from a freezing cold Bender Golf Club um, Sid is here with you in uh, the next segment uh, I'm sorry you asked about sloping lies so um, ball below the feet first of all um, so shooting in this direction uh, you'll see that uh, when I build out the standing position the ball is below the level of where my feet are so I've got to make a couple of small adjustments um, to my address position to enable them, uh, me to hit strike nicely and have a desired ball flight. So effectively, when I'm standing to the golf ball, the ball is actually further away from me because the ground is further away where my feet actually are. Okay? So a couple of things happen when you do this. Number one, we can actually lean more towards the golf ball and more points will go towards our toes. We have to be very, very careful with that because it puts us off balance. So what we effectively got to try to do is ensure, first of all, that our address position be balanced. So holding the club at the foot length, okay? We don't need to hold down on the top of this one because that helps negate um, the, the slope situation. So make sure that we're holding the club at the highest point, okay? Secondly, on this one, build your address position as normal and then we're going to sink. I would be in a normal position, I'm sinking. I'm allowing the, my knees to flex a little bit more, okay? Effectively, I'm concertinaing myself, okay? To enable me to, to create, maintain my balance with the weight on the middle of my feet. If I were to simply lean towards the golf ball, my weight goes towards my toes, I'm gonna to be off balance. I then can't function as a golf swing. So, the most important thing when you play balls below the level of the feet, regular address position and sink very slightly okay, in the knees to get to the bottom of the golf ball. When we come to my golf swing, it's vitally important that we maintain balance. If I try to come all the way through as I would do normally, the chances are I'm going to take a step down the slope, be off balance, potentially miss strike the golf ball. So let's have a little go. So building our address position, not really moving the ball anywhere different position between my feet. I may aim a smidgen left where I'm going to allow a little bit of left and right ball flight. Always situation dependent. I come to make my little golf swing, sinking down a little bit more on my knees. There we go. Almost. A little bit of left and right on the ball flight on that one, but I maintain my balance nicely. Okay? So that's the ball below your feet. What happens when it's above your feet? Let's swap around, cameraman. Sam on the camera, by the way, folks. Say hello, Sam. Hello. No, hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you? <laughs> All right. So effectively on this one here, um, the complete opposite happens. The ball is above our feet, okay? So now it's closer to us. As it's closer to us, okay, we're going to make an adjustment in our address position. Put your hands on the ground, okay? How much depends on the severity of the slope. Okay. Now this is going to have an effect on the plane of the angle of our swing on this particular one. So what's going to happen here is because the ball's closer to us, I've shortened the club to try to negate that, but the, uh, the swinging plane is going to be a bit more grounded. As the plane is a little bit more rounded, we may strike a little bit of the ground before the ball. So we've got to make a little harder adjustment on this one. We're going to put the ball a little bit further back in our stance okay, to ensure that we get the golf ball struck first. Secondly, the ball flight itself is going to move from the right to the left. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment to where I'm aiming, where I want the ball to finish. So probably aim a little bit further to the right. How much? I can't answer that question I'm afraid because I have the severity of the slope that you're playing off, but you've got to try to judge this one. Now, um, so ball in the centre, hands down the grip a little bit, okay, aiming a little bit to the right hand side. Now when I come to making the golf swing, I've not really made any adjustments to my address position, I may be slightly straighter leg than normal, but again, I've got to try to respect the slope. I can't go all the way through the golf ball, okay, as I would do normally. I've just got to make every effort that I can to strike the golf ball uh, as crispy as possible. So let's have a look, okay? The ball in the middle, slightly right, maybe to the right hand side, down the grip, and away we go. We've got 
nice little draw fly, fairway. Got the ball out nicely, a couple of funny bounces on the hard ground. You can see, folks, with both of those shots, though, I didn't actually try to hit the golf ball too hard. You have to respect the slope, okay? If you can't get there with your chosen club, well, don't worry about it. Keep the ball in play, keep it moving down the fairway towards your intended target, the green area, and, and uh, avoid massive miss hits, massive ball flights in different directions. It takes a little bit of practice, folks, but um, as soon as we can get back to golf, I'm sure you'll take these few tips out onto the course for you. Take care. I'm going to go and have a nice warm cup of tea now. Cheers, folks. Thanks a lot.